Dumpster diving. What's next? In the dumpster. <laughs> this one's weird. A couple left a baby at airport check-in after refusing to pay a ticket and tried to get on the plane without the baby. We weren't going to cover this because it's hard to find out what's actually true. And it feels like there may have been some kind of lost in translation thing happening. Right. I heard this story and was like, you just were like, oh, we have to pay for the baby. So we're just going to leave the baby. These people must be spies. The only explanation, they were using the baby as a prop and they're spies. And they were like, we got to get on that plane. Like it was, they said they were Belgian, you know, passport holders. So it wasn't even like they were Belgian. So immediately I'm thinking like Jason Bourne or terrorists. Uh-huh. And they had this baby with them and they were f- couldn't pay for the extra thir- like 30 pound charge to have the <laughs> ticket for the baby because the check in counter was closed. So they just left the baby there and tried to go through security. They're like, this baby doesn't spark joy anymore. <laughs> we gotta go. Did you hate babies? Flip a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but then there was like other articles being like debunking this and being we like, don't know what's true. no. Uh, that that never happened. It could have been a video of a deep fake baby. We don't know. But then what's true anymore? Bridget was like, "Yeah, but that's even that's even more spy like." Is then the story changes and all of a sudden the governments get involved and then magically, oh no, that never happened. Nothing to see here. <laughs> there was absolutely a couple with a baby that was everything's fine. <laughs> the ba- they had the baby with them the whole time. Even though there's a video of like people at an airport looking at a baby, like, the a baby. counter yeah. people finding a baby, it's all very strange. So we think there, this was some spy sh- Like false alarm, it was just someone's emotional support, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and then we have the San Antonio Zoo. will let you name a cockroach after an ex and feed it to an animal. Capitalism always wins. It's what makes America great. And England okay, and France terrible. This maybe should have gone in Capitalism Always Wins, but it's also dumpster diving. This is weird because you can pay $10 for a cockroach, $5 for a vegetable if you're... $25 for a rat. For a rodent. To feed to a snake. Can you imagine what kind of sadistic mother... You have to be to just like name a rat after Jerry or X and then just slowly watch the snake eat that thing alive. Want to see me feed a mouse to my snake? Yes. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why Jerry broke up with you, Susan. Maybe because you're a psychopath. Come on, Susan! <laughs> Who even came up with this concept? It's, Capitalism. It's not that it's a terrible concept. The cockroach thing is pretty funny. The rodent thing is a little gnarly. I mean... I can see getting your rage. It's kind of the equivalent of writing a letter and burning it, only you name a cockroach and watch some animal eat it. Your therapist is like, I want you to fly to San Antonio, (laughs) name a cockroach after your ex, sit down with the cockroach and tell it all the things you wanted to say to your ex, and then watch that cockroach get (laughs) eaten alive videotape it and send it to your ex (laughs) and be like we're done here (laughs) ten (laughs) dollars